Hi, I'm Sean. Welcome to GuitarReferenceGuide.com. Today we're going to go through the song Born and Raised by John Mayer. Uh, that was just the verse. I'm going to also take you through the chorus and the bridge. I'm going to go really slow. Uh, we're going to do a close-up on the neck of the guitar. Um, when I'm done playing through all the sections, I'm going to do an easy version for those of you that have a hard time with these little bar chords and getting your thumb around the bass note. And here we go. The verse. Start with the G chord, root four, gonna bar the B string and the high E string at the third fret with our index finger, fourth fret on the G string with your second finger, third finger is gonna go to the fifth fret of the D string, gives us our G chord. We're gonna use our thumb to grab the bass note at the third fret. Now, to stop the A string from ringing out, you would use your third finger to just slightly touch it. Otherwise, you'll get an A string in there, and you don't want that over the, uh, over the G chord. So the strumming pattern is going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down is where you put the sus. In other words, your pinky comes down onto the fifth fret of the G string. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more time. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now we're going to move to the next chord, which is a B minor 7. We play the B minor 7. We bar the 2nd fret, all 5 strings. 2nd finger, 3rd fret on the B string. 3rd finger, 4th fret on the uh, D string. Same strumming pattern. We're going to use our pinky to grab the 5th fret of the, uh, the B string. Uh, when we're strumming the up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more time. The next chord is going to be an F. It's going to be the same shape as the G, also with our thumb, grabbing the, uh, the bass note. Now, for this one, we're going to vamp off of the third fret of the B string right here. So that would sound like this. One more time. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then we're going to hit the C chord. We're going to keep our pinky down on the high E string. I'm taking my second finger off of the D string and hammering onto the second fret, so that would sound like this. Then we're back to where we started. So one more time really slow, the verse. Sus. B minor 7. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. F. Pinky down, third fret of the B string. Make it F6 chord. The chorus is going to start with an E minor 7. For the E minor 7, your second finger is going to go on the second fret of the A string. Pinky will be on the third fret of the high E string. We strum all the strings. Then we go to a G chord by just putting our third finger down on the third fret of the low E string. Then we go to the C chord, the same sort of C chord we're playing on the verse. Minor seven, G, C, down, 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 up, G, down, 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 up, C. Then it would go back to the verse. Uh, Towards uh, three quarters of the way through the song, we're going to go into the bridge. To bring us into the bridge, we're going to put our third finger on the third fret of the low E string, pinky on the third fret of the high E string. Now, he's going to hammer the second finger onto the second fret of the D string, and the first finger is going to hammer down onto the first fret of the B string. That's going to sound like this. Strum down, and we hammer 
Up, down, up, down, up. Strum down, hammer. Try it again. Hammer, hammer, hammer. That brings us into the bridge. The bridge, we're gonna start with a C chord. C with the B in the bass, second finger goes to the second fret of the A string. A minor 7, keep your pinky down, keep your first finger down, put these fing two fingers down to play the A minor, that be an A minor 7. So we have a C, down, up, C with a B in the bass, down, 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 up, A minor 7. Sus4. The D sus4 index finger on the second fret of the G string, third finger on the third fret of the B string, pinky on the third fret of the high E string, and then a D7 chord. And that would be the bridge. So we'd have uh, the intro into the bridge. C, C with the B in the bass, A minor 7, it goes 4 times, then it goes to the D, D sus 4, to the D7, now to review all the sections we'll start with the verse, to the, uh, the chorus, E minor 7, G, C, E minor 7, G, C, that goes four times, and then we would have the, uh, the bridge. go four times, then we'd have the D sus4, down, up, down, up, down, onto the D7. And that would be Born and Raised by John Mayer. The easy version for Born and Raised by John Mayer, um, we're going to start with a, just a G chord like this, using your third finger, third fret. Second finger on the low E string, second finger, second fret on the A string, pinky, third fret on the high E string. We're going to vamp off of the C right here. So we're going to put our first finger down. So that sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So finger down, finger off. One more time. B minor, instead of playing a full B minor 7 with the bar, let's play a regular B minor like this. And you're going to take your first finger off for, for that vamp note. Then we're going to go to the uh, F chord. Instead of playing with the bar, with the, your uh, thumb grabbing the bass, just play the top strings. Putting your pinky down on the third fret of the B string. to the C. So that would sound like this. Have the B minor. First finger coming off the high E. F, no bass, no. Or no bass and then low E. And then to the C. And the other sections in the song are pretty simple, so um, I would just keep those as they are because they're not too hard to play. 
So that is the easy way to play the verse for Born and Raised. A couple tips before you go. Um, when you're playing through the verse, if you're having a hard time getting the little embellishments with your pinky over the sus chords, you can just play straight through it. Just play a straight G chord. And you can work your way up to getting the little embellishments with your pinky. It'll work fine without adding all those little bells and whistles. Um, another thing, it's in the key of G. So if you want to take a solo, if you're playing with somebody and you want to improvise over the song, uh, you can play some scales in the key of G. Probably start with your pentatonic scales would be the best place to start. Um, and then go to your major and minor scales. Uh, you can go to Guitar Reference Guide, the Scales tab. And under the Scales tab, you can go to pentatonic scales. You just go to the key of G and they're all right there. Uh, also your major scales and your minor scales are also in the Scales tab in GuitarReferenceGuide.com. So if you get familiar with some of those, when you're playing with somebody, you can practice improvising over the song. And that's it. So thank you so much for joining us at guitarreferenceguide.com, and I hope to see you again.